hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC how to implement the CRUD operation create read update and delete using link to SQL and here we got the final output notice the create new edit details and delete and let's create a new record create new The EMP name I'm adding Karthik. The salary is two thousand, and email is kr at yahoo.com. Create. And see here we got the Karthik is inserted successfully in the EMP table. Now let's edit the Karthik details. Edit. The Karthik salary I'm changing to 2002, 2500. Save. And notice the Karthik salary has been updated to 2500. Now let's get the details of Rani. Details. See here we got the Rani details. Back to list. Now the last one. Delete option. Let's delete the Karthik record. Delete delete and notice the Karthik record has been deleted successfully from this EMP table if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial I'm creating a new MVC application go to file new project and from the web templates I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1 the application name is MVC link crude click OK and from the templates I'm selecting MVC click OK and the project is created successfully let's close this default window open solution explorer now in this project I'm adding the link to SQL class right click the project name add link to SQL the item name I'm not changing click OK and here we got the data class 1 the DBML the next one is open server explorer now in this server explorer under data connections I'm adding the SQL server database right click the data connections add connection I'm adding SQL server name After adding SQL server name, now I am selecting the database name. New DB is my user database I have selected. Test connection is succeeded. OK. OK. And here the new db.dbo database is added under data connections. Let's expand this database new DB. And here you can find that new DB database objects, tables, I'm expanding the tables folder the table I'm selecting the EMP table just drag and drop on the dot dbml data, data class one page after that let's open solution explorer minimize the references folder now in the controllers folder I'm adding a new controller right click the controllers folder add controller I'm selecting MVC for a controller with read write actions. When you select this option read write actions, you can able to create a read, update, delete and list entities. Click add. The controller name is uh, EMP CRUD. Is a controller name? Click add. And here we got our controller. Notice in this controller we got the action result index, details, create, edit, and delete action results methods are there. Now the first in the action result index method, writing the code to display the employee details. So at the top of the action result index, I'm adding my data class on data context data class 
one data context i'm creating the object dc new data class one data context after that in the action result variable emp details is equals to from x in dc dot the table object is the emp tables select x in the return view i'm adding emp details let's copy this one after that now the second action result is a details page when a user select any particular employee the details option i want to get the details of that particular employee so for that i'm adding variable get emp details is equals to dc dot emp tables dot single method x lambda expression employee id double equals to i'm adding id this object and the return view is it get emp details now the next one is uh, the create action result and notice the create action results we got two one is the http get and the second one is a post the create method is used to insert new employee records so i'm using http post in the create action result method notice here the form collection just delete this one because this is a default code when we created the controller so here instead of form collection i'm adding my class na table name sorry table name emp table emp table so now let's dc dot emp tables dot insert on submit method i'm adding this collection after that dc dot submit changes and return redirect to action the index view page the next one is the edit and the next action result is the edit method and notice here the action result edit contains two methods one is the http get and the second one is the http post the first method when a user wants to edit any particular employee details first i want to get that employee id details so for that instead of writing code i'm just copying this one to get the employee details paste here get emp details after that in the http post i want to update that employee details in this action result http post method and notice here here we got the form collection which is a default default one here we have to add our the table name this one emp table Now in the try option, EMP table, let's create an object, EMP update is equals to DC dot EMP tables dot single x lambda expression EMP ID double equals to I am adding this ID parameter object. EMP update dot employee name is equals to collection this object dot employee name EMP update dot email is equals to collection dot email and the last column we have the salary is equals to collection dot salary once we update the selected employee details i want to redirect the action to index view page now the last one we need to delete the employee details so again when i want to delete any particular employee first thing we require the the employee id record 
so instead of writing again the same thing I just copy this part to get the employee details get employee details and in the HTTP post method in the delete action result change the form collection to our table name is the EMP table let's write the code to delete the employee detail declare a variable emp delete dl dc dot emp tables dot single method x x dot employee id double equals to i'm adding this int id once we get the selected id employee details dc dot emp tables dot delete on submit i want to delete that emp del object the selected employee record after that dc dot submit changes method that's it we have done the complete coding part the first action result the index view page will get the employee details and the next one will get the details of the particular employee and the next one after that we have got the create action result edit action result and the delete action result now we require the five view pages one for the index and second one for the create details edit and delete so before adding the view pages to this project we must build the application first so build build solution And here we got a message build succeeded in the output window. Let's close this window. Now it's time to create the view pages. First we'll create the index view page. Highlight the index, right click that one. Add view. And the view name is the index only and the template I'm adding the list. And the model class I'm selecting. the EMP table and the data context class I'm not adding anything in the options and the last one in the options make sure the reference script libraries and the user layer page both are selected check check add and here we got the index.cshtml view page and also notice in the solution explorer in the views folder we got the index.cshtml page is added in the EMP crawl folder. Let's create the details. Highlight the details action result. Right click that one. Add view. The view name is the details only. The template. I'm selecting the details. And the model class is the EMP table. The same process. I'm not selecting any data context class and make sure the both are ticks reference script libraries and layout page click add and here we got the details view page also notice here we got the details is added let's add the create highlight the create method right click that one add view the view name is create only and the template select create the model class the EMP table add set the edit action result right click that one add view the view name is edit the template I'm selecting the edit template the model class EMP table click add and the last one is a delete Let's select the action result delete method. I click that one. Add view. The view name is delete template. I'm selecting delete. The model class EMP table. Click add. That's it. We have added all the five view pages index, details, create, edit, and delete. Now, before run this application, the most important we need to change the controller name 
open solution explorer in the app dot underscore start folder expand that one road config dot cs open that one in the road config dot cs file notice the controller is the home which is a default one let's delete that home controller name our controller name is the emp crud just copy this controller name and add in the controller the action result index is the index view page only which is this one when page loads i want to view the index view page now let's check the output google chrome and here we got the final output notice a create new edit details and delete and let's create a new record create new the emp name i'm adding karthik the salary is 2000 and email is kr at yahoo.com create And see here we got the Karthik is inserted successfully in the AMP table. To edit the Karthik details, edit. I want to update the Karthik salary to 2500 from 2000 to 2500. Let's save the details. Oops, something went wrong. Let's check the program. in the controller in the edit well, we need to save the details dc dot submit changes method now i am reloading the browser link again now let's edit the karthik details edit the Karthik salary I'm changing to 2002, 2500. Save. And notice the Karthik salary has been updated to 2500. Now let's get the details of Rani. Details. See here we got the Rani details. Back to list. Now the last one. Delete option. Let's delete the Karthik record. Delete delete and notice the Karthik record has been deleted successfully from this EMP table that's it